Good afternoon and uh, welcome to the Lakewood Police Department Awards Ceremony. I'm Dan McCaskey, the Chief of Police, and on behalf of the men and women of the Lakewood Police Department, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'd ask first now that you please rise for the presentation of the colors and then remain standing for the national anthem performed by the uh, Alameda International Junior Senior High School vocal music group, the Madrigals. And then we'll also have the invocation uh, by Chaplain Roy Jones. Will you bow with me? Father, we are so thankful for a time that we can gather together and to acknowledge the uh, ability of the individuals at uh, Lakewood PD to acknowledge their willingness to go the extra mile. And Father, we thank you for them. We thank you for all of the agents at the Lakewood Police Department for all of the things that they do for us. We know that you have given them a heart for helping other citizens. And Father, we see that in their lives and in the way they handle themselves, and we're thankful for that. We pray that you would continue to fill them with your wisdom, that you would continue to guide them, and Father, protect them as they go about their duties not only protect them, but be with their families and protect their families as well. Father, we are so thankful for them and for their love for their community and for their fellow man. We pray that you'd be with their leaders and, and give them wisdom as well and, and give them insight. We know that there are so many things going on today that can, can drag us down, but, but Father, we, we are thankful that they are here to keep us safe we pray that you would strengthen them, fill them with your peace, 
and walk with them. Father, we're thankful for this ceremony and pray that we ask your presence here during this ceremony and pray that you would bless each one who is being acknowledged here for what they have done. And we ask all of this in your son's name. Amen. Thank you, and uh, please have a seat. Thank you, Chaplain, and a uh, big thank you to uh, the Lakewood Police Department Honor Guard, and especially a big thanks to our the Alameda Junior Senior Madrigals. That was, uh, that was wonderful, thank you. So again, welcome everybody. On October 1st, 1962, the 87th Congress of the United States of America approved a joint resolution authorizing the President to proclaim May 15th of each year as Peace Officers Memorial Day, and then the calendar week uh, during which that day fell in as, uh, as Police Week. So normally we celebrate our awards uh, ceremony on, on during that week, and uh, um, but unfortunately we weren't able to do that this year, but we're able to be here today, so it's quite an honor to be here. On that day we celebrate though, or th that week we celebrate law enforcement officers who were, have been killed in the line of duty or wounded in the line of duty, and it also honors the service of the men and women of our profession who night and day stand guard to protect our communities. So this is a day where we pay tribute to those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice and given their lives serving our citizens, and it's also a time to pay tribute to their families. So today, besides the men and women of the Lakewood Police Department, we are also honoring Boulder Police Officer Eric Talley, Arvada Police Officer Gordon Beasley. And in 2021, Lakewood lost two of our former chiefs of police to a terminal illness, so we'd like to recognize them as well. Lakewood Police Chief Ron Burns served from 2001 to 2008, and Lakewood Police Chief Charlie Johnston served from 1981 to 2001. We're also recognizing Police Agent James Davies. This is the anniversary of James's death uh, as he gave his life in the line of duty on November 9th, 2012, so nine years ago. So please join me in a moment of silence to honor these heroic individuals. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to also note too, when you leave today, look at our flagpole across the street and you'll notice we're flying the Union Jack flag this week. And that's in honor of uh, Agent Davies who was a native of England. Um, so it's really our, it's a great honor for us to be able to show the respects and, and uh, fly that flag this week. The wreath on stage is a reminder not only of lives well lived, but also the danger involved in our jobs and it serves as a symbol of our commitment to serve and protect the citizens of Lakewood. The awards presented today will recognize the professionalism along with the steadfast adherence to integrity, intelligence, and initiative, which are the cornerstones of this organization. Before we get started, though, I'd like to recognize some of our distinguished guests. I believe Mayor Adam Paul is in the uh, audience and is gonna join us briefly today. Our city manager, Kathy Hodson, is also joining us, and council member Charlie Abel is also here today and will be receiving an award. I'd also like to uh, recognize Edgewater Chief of Police John Mackey, who is retiring later this month. Chief Mackey uh, had a long, uh, successful career with the Lakewood Police Department, and after a, a few different stops as Chief of Police and other organizations, he's retiring after a 40-year career in law enforcement. So thank you, Chief Mackey, for being here. I'd also like to mention that you may see some of our police agents and police personnel uh, with beards. We are participating in No Shave November, which is, uh, is a fundraiser for the Colorado Special Olympics. And this is our first year ever doing that, and I'm happy to say that we've, so far, we've raised over $5,000 for Colorado Special Olympics. So, uh, so enjoy those beards when you get, and give them a round of applause. And if I have missed any dignitaries today, my apologies. There's a lot of people here, so please accept my apologies if I, if I neglected to name any of you. 
So on stage today with me will be Division Chief Ed Lower, along with Awards Review Committee Chairman Commander Devin Moore, and we'll be handing out the awards. And those reading the synopsis of the awards today are Detective Ryan Paisley, Agent Lindsey Jones, Commander Mark Dewhurst, and Commander Rob Buchan. And so we are going to start with our Volunteer of the Year, or I'm sorry, the Hall of Fame Award, and it's our volunteer, Mr. Don Fariga. Afternoon. Don Fariga graduated from the Citizens Police Academy in 1992 and joined the department as a police volunteer on January 1st, 1993. Since then, he has donated more than 5,200 hours of service and has been one of the longest serving, most dedicated and conscientious volunteers this department has had the pleasure of working with. He's always willing to step up and step in, no matter what the request. To list all his assignments and the lives that he has touched would take more time than we have this afternoon. But I may highlight just a few. He has volunteered to serve on the Christmas Cheer for Children, Colorado Life Track. As a part of the Volunteer Support Team, or VST, he has provided extra patrol, motorist assist, disabilities, parking enforcement, property pickup, and equipment support teams. He has assisted with DUI checkpoints, special events, surveillance, traffic, and crowd control. And because of his reliability and reputation, he has assisted with criminal investigations, fraud cases, document examinations, vehicle trespass surveillance, and threats of child abduction with the Child Abduction Response Team, also known as CART. Don assists with administrative duties, conducting training, exercises as a role player, and he speaks at neighborhood functions and healthcare facilities teaching against fraud and elder abuse. Although he's a champion for law enforcement, he's also served on boards and commissions representing the public's point of view to select police chiefs in pay raises, block grants, and campaigns in support of fair and equitable legislation. Don's record of public service is extensive. For nearly 30 years, he has de dedicated his life to the service of the Lakewood Police Department, city government, the community, and those less privileged, and those with limited abilities. For all of this, Don Fariga has never received a paycheck. His only compensation is the knowledge that he has been a good and faithful servant. Don Fariga, please accept our genuine and heartfelt thank you. You are a most worthy addition to the LPD Hall of Fame. Next up, if I can have Jean Abernathy come forward. Jean is to receive the Volunteer of the Year Award. Jean Abernathy became a volunteer for victim assistance on May 9th, 2017. She has made an outstanding contribution to the unit and to all the victims she has helped, consistently going above and beyond all expectations. Jean is a trusted and experienced counselor, so much so that she is responsible for training the department's newest volunteers before they begin on-call duties. She is the one who is willing to fill the gaps in the schedule, frequently having to double the required amount of hours. She selflessly agrees to respond to another case when she knows an advocate has worked up, up all night or to limit the amount of overtime. Advocates will tell you that being able to get a full night's rest is an incredible gift sometimes. Most importantly, Jean always goes the extra mile to help victims of crime. She has responded to countless calls, many of which are high profile or extremely volatile cases. She stays with the victim as long as needed to secure safety and well-being. 
Gene can build a rapport with domestic violence victims when others fail. Keeping line of lines of communication open is essential to provide support, resources, and to help victims move forward in a safe and healthy direction. Gene was able to build such rapport with a recent domestic violence victim that the woman not only went to the hospital for an exam, but also established a safety plan, allowed Jean to secure temporary safe housing and provide 911 phone that helped her reach out when the suspect returned, undoubtedly saving her life. During COVID-19, Jean has never complained when responding to calls and is always a warm and calming support and presence for victims. Jean is truly an asset to our program and stands out with her excellent work assisting everyone she meets. Please accept the Lakewood Police Department Volunteer of the Year Award. You have earned the recognition. The next award goes to the Civilian of the Year. And this year, the decision was made to recognize two employees for the Civilian of the Year Award. Investigative Technician Amanda Morgan and Crime Analyst Carrie Nordlin. Please come forward. I'll start with Amanda. Amanda is an investigation technician for the fraud team for Lakewood PD Investigations. It has been a difficult year for investigations technicians in the investigation division, as three technician positions have been vacant for more than a year. Amanda maintains a positive attitude, strong work ethic, flexibility, leadership, and customer service. She is always willing to help her team members as well as other team's detectives. Her duties, as assigned, include the initial phase of an investigation, gathering bank records, surveillance video, store or company reports, and other related paperwork. Amanda then compiles and documents the specifics of the crime and summarizes the information in a well-written report. She then combs through the social media sites, police record databases, and other police reports identifying suspects based on images of tattoos, appearance, and other physical descriptors. She assists by creating photo arrays, booking evidence, and fielding questions related to scams, frauds, or forgeries. In addition, she has helped to migrate data into InTime built a platform for public viewing of the manual, completed a 40-hour CSI course, and has helped with CMAT to host catalytic converter protection training and shred day. Cross trains technicians and serves on peer support and the employee nominations committee. Amanda exemplifies her personal motto and says she loves to be busy but hates to be bored. And I'll switch over to Carrie. Carrie is a crime analyst with the Lakewood Police Department. I have the pleasure of working with her on a daily basis. Amanda, too. You're great. <laughs> Everyone's great. <laughs> Primarily, Katie. Did you work together? Who are you? I've been reading a long time. Primarily, Carrie Nordlin has been Lakewood's only crime analyst for the past year. She has neither complained nor shirked the heavy workload. Carrie has worked closely with the person's team on every major case and has gone above and beyond with each one. Of significance, she identified the primary car used in a double homicide at Walmart last year by going through the license plate reads on the BOSS system. Her ability to identify the car broke the case open allowing detectives to identify multiple suspects, including the prime planner of the crime in possession of the gun taken from the victim. After learning of an active serial rapist on West Colfax, Carrie worked nonstop using her specialized skills searching through law enforcement databases and social media posts. 
she developed a spreadsheet of vehicles on the specified dates and times to narrow the search for two possible vehicles. The suspect was taken into custody without, without incident and held on a million dollar bond. Carrie's hard work has been the catalyst that opened multiple serious cases and she's the go-to whenever there is a homicide. The criteria for civilian employee of the year, knowledgeable, positive attitude, eager to assist, leadership, embraces change, trustworthy, promotes team growth, creativity, flexibility, problem solver, invested. These two women embody that description. Therefore, we are pleased to present investive Investigative Technician Amanda Morgan and Crime Analyst Carrie Nordland with the Lakewood Police Department Awards for the Civilian of the Year. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, John Holloway. Please come forward. My okay. guy. John's going to receive the award for Detective of the Year. Detective John Holloway has worked as a detective for the Lakewood Police Department for almost seven years. He spent five years as a major crimes person's team detective, investigating assaults, shootings, homicides, and serving as a member of the critical incident response team. In January of 2020, he was assigned to work as a task force officer to the Regional Anti-Violence Enforcement Network, also known as RAVEN. TFOs address the violent criminal organizations in the metro area, and his participation brought task force resources to Lakewood cases. Detective Holloway began by investigating a homicide and related shootings in Lakewood and West Denver. The investigation focused on two developing street gangs that could be tied to 40 violent crimes involving firearms that impacted 90 victims. An impressive case has been built by Raven teammates, Lakewood police personnel, and various law enforcement agencies. It has relied on traditional police work, interviews, surveillance, and search warrants, plus investigative opportunities to include cell phone and social media analysis. The leadership of Raven Task Force have noted that John is among the best, if not the best, investigator assigned to the team. John has been praised for being a mentor to his teammates and supervisors. And supervisors have said, John's expertise as an investigator is rivaled only by his professionalism, work ethic, and commitment to bring justice to victims. While assigned to Raven, Detective Holloway has continued to prepare for prosecution in his person's cases and has recently obtained guilty pleas in a homicide investigation with additional prosecution still pending. Detective John Holloway has demonstrated commitment, dedication, and professionalism, not only to the department and the division, but also to the Lakewood community. It is our honor and privilege to award John Holloway with the 2021 Detective of the Year. Agent Scott Weikert. Come on up. Scott will receive the Patrol Agent of the Year Award. Scott Weikert serves both as a member of the Community Action Team, also known as CAT, and a member of the Patrol Division. He has led the CAT team through the implementation of the Extreme Risk Protection Order, ERPO, Red Flag Law. His leadership has been instrumental in the investigation of 15 police-initiated ERPO cases in 2020. Of those, five court orders were executed in 2020 that resulted in the seizure of 17 firearms. More importantly, Agent Weikert knows those subject to an ERPO order are generally suffering from a mental health crisis. 
He demonstrates a steadfast dedication to treat people with dignity, respect, and empathy, assuring those involved that this is done for everyone's safety. Agent Weikert also addresses crime problems and quality of life issues with our senior population, providing safety training and working directly with those being exploited. Additionally, he demonstrates great compassion and options for those experiencing homelessness. He frequently works with an elderly woman with severe mental health issues who has hoarded herself into homelessness. He tries to help address the side effects of her persistent mental illness. Agent Weikert is also one of the leads for the Lakewood Patrol Rifle Program and an active member of the firearms staff. He oversees at least 50% of the training days, develops training criteria, specific schedules and range dates, organizes new user courses, and initiated armor inspection of patrol rifles. Agent Weikert exemplifies the attributes of the Patrol Agent of the Year. He is trustworthy, dependable, and knowledgeable. No matter the assignment, he will complete the task with professionalism and in an exemplary manner. With that, it is our privilege to present the Lakewood Police Department 2021 Agent of the Year Award. Agent Aaron Hassel, please come up. In a development that will surprise no one, you have received the Ace Auto Theft Award. Those not familiar with Aaron, will, you'll learn real soon. The annual Top Gun Auto Theft Award is presented to the agent who, through their dedicated work, has made a significant impact to address auto theft in Lakewood. A patrol agent is awarded one point or a lightning bolt for each physical arrest of an auto theft suspect. This year's recipient of the Top Gun Auto Theft Award is Agent Aaron Hassel. In 2020, there were 27,895 auto thefts statewide which is an increase of 38%. In Lakewood, there were 1,172 auto thefts reported, which is an average of 23 stolen vehicles a week. The police department arrested 264 subjects, ranging in age from 14 to 58. Agent Aaron Hassel has earned 40 lightning bolts in 2020 and has accumulated 51 year to date averaging four arrests a month. He says he remembers the suspect's car more than the face of the suspect. Agent Hassel has demonstrated his dedication and creativity to address the pervasive problem of auto theft in our community. He also shares his knowledge and talent with others on his team and throughout the department. Agent Aaron Hassel, I present you with the 2021 Ace Auto Theft Award. Our next award will be the Citizen Commendation. Um, it's awarded to a citizen, a private citizen for significant assistance rendered to the police department in achieving its mission or for notable efforts which result in the saving of a life. So if I can have Eric and Carissa Sanchez come on up. On August 8th, 2021, at 1 16 p.m., Eric and Carissa Sanchez were driving in Lakewood when they observed an elementary aged child standing alone in the middle of the road. Mr. and Mrs. Sanchez believed the girl's life to be in danger and they were concerned for her safety. Carissa Sanchez attempted to speak with the youngster to see if she could help her out of traffic to a safe area. Unfortunately, the young girl was frightened, turned and ran away from her. Eric Sanchez called 911 and remained on the phone with dispatch during the entire incident providing updated information as to the actions and whereabouts of the child, as they followed in their car trying to ensure her safety. The girl was observed running into the area of the community swimming pool at West 20th Avenue and Brentwood Street. 
She was unable to verbally communicate with Lakewood agents, and upon contacting the girl's father, it was discovered that she was only 10 years old and diagnosed with severe autism. She had run from her family's home in Wheat Ridge. The girl was safely released to the custody of her father. Eric and Carissa Sanchez, you both chose to step into this situation, to willingly offer your assistance, and to play a significant role in assuring the safety and security of a distraught little girl. Your actions prevented what could have resulted in a tragedy. Therefore, it is our privilege to present you with the Lakewood Police Department Citizen Commendation Award. Thank you. Um, and next, if I can invite uh, Ms. Mary Munger and Ms. Christine Willard to the stage. On June 5th, 2021, shortly after 10 a.m., retired Lakewood agent Mary Munger and Ms. Christine Willard were at the first stop gas station and gas and food station at 605 Garrison Street when Christine observed a man passed out in the driver's seat of a truck. She believed the individual was intoxicated, she could see the vehicle was still running, and she was concerned the man would drive away. Equally concerned, Mary Munger immediately contacted Jeffcom Dispatch to report the situation. Being a retired Lakewood agent, she was able to provide detailed information about the man and vehicle to the dispatcher. Responding agents contacted the individual and confirmed that he was intoxicated and immediately detained him. During the initial questioning, agents located a 40 caliber hand, handgun inside a holster concealed in his front waistband. They confirmed the gun had been stolen from a neighboring jurisdiction and the man was taken into custody. A further search revealed thousands of dollars in cash and drugs were found on the suspect. Inside the truck, agents located another loaded handgun with several magazines, rounds of ammunition, and approximately 5,000 pills commonly associated with drug distribution. The suspect was arrested on numerous felony charges. Mary Munger and Christine Willer, you both played a significant role in the apprehension of a dangerous individual. As a result of your observation, reporting, and willingness to get involved, Lakewood was a much safer community that day. Therefore, it is my privilege to award you with the Lakewood Police Department Citizen Commendation. Thank you. And next, if I can invite uh, Information Management tex Technician Amy Santa Steven up for a Chief's Commendation for the Niche Records Management System. The Property and Evidence section recently completed a records conversion from file on queue to Niche RMS. Ms. San Amy Santa Steven was a member of a small team assigned to the mon monumental task of data conversion for thousands of old records. Amy was responsible for mapping the old system fields to corresponding fields in the new system. Where specific fields did not exist, Amy found alternative options, made suggestions, and completed the mapping based on team decisions. During the project, Amy worked closely with Lakewood's IT department and outside contractor Blue Skies Associates. After BSA converted the information using Amy's mapping guidelines and validation rules, the information was placed in a testing environment. Amy was responsible for testing the data, working closely with BSA, identifying discrepancies and providing specifics to correct any issues. Amy developed an extensive spreadsheet to track testing, showing positive results and issues needing adjustment, enabling team members to see the weekly testing progress. Amy's knowledge of the old and new record systems allowed her to complete the conversion well within the established timelines. Her attention to detail resulted in a successful go live on August 3, 2021. Amy, in recognition of your dedication, your professionalism and expertise, and finally for the inspiration you provided to others, it is our privilege to present you with the Chief's commendation for the successful completion of the conversion project. We literally could not have done it without you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And next, if I can have Hope Han, come on up. On November 1st, 1987, the Lakewood Police Department made a commitment to strengthen its support for victims of crime or traumatic events. Since that humble pronouncement, the unit has grown from two volunteers making telephone calls to victims to a seven-person team that responds immediately to those experiencing serious trauma. Hope Han joined the department in September of 2000 and has remained in the assignment for the past 20 years. While she has seen many changes, her commitment to the citizens of Lakewood has never wavered. Through the years, she has gained the trust and respect of sworn members of the department, and her broad experience base gives her credibility in all types of situations. She tirelessly gives, tirelessly gives of herself. She comes in on her days off, and she's willing to lend a hand, pick up extra shifts, or trade days off. Hope is true to her name, giving hope to the hopeless, listening to the lost, providing resources and opportunities, information and referrals, calm during chaos and a pathway forward to those in need. In recognition of your dedication, professionalism, and selfless commitment, it is our pleasure to award you with the Chief's Commendation. Thank you. Next, if I can ask Agent Lauren Castro-Giovanni to come up. Beginning in 2020, Commander Creighton Bates initiated a video bulletin board for the police department. The project was designed to highlight the great work being done while also providing vital information and training. Agent Lauren Castro-Giovanni was immediately drawn to this vision and wanted to be a part of the project. Throughout 2021, Agent Castro Giovanni has taken the lead with the organization and publishing fresh, innovative entries that instill pride and raise morale with deserved recognition, blending it with humor, and poignant depiction of their efforts. Agent Castro Giovanni dedicates herself to composing a weekly presentation that agents stop in their tracks to watch. Lauren's efforts have catapulted this project to a level where presentations are anticipated, welcomed, and enjoyed. Agent Castro Giovanni, you have displayed personal dedication through initiative and ingenuity in the development and consistent publishing for the TV project. Your efforts have contributed to maintain high spirits and pride in the Lakewood Police Department. It is our pleasure to recognize your drive, commitment, and professionalism by awarding you with a Chief's Commendation. Thank you. Um, and next, so I'll ask Detective Chris Langley to come up. On April 26, 2019, Lakewood police responded to the 5400 block of West 3rd Place on reports of a shooting. The victim's girlfriend reported the couple were in bed when a masked stranger kicked, their, kicked in their door and demanded money. When the victim refused, the intruder shot him multiple times, killing him. That day, Detective Langley began a homicide investigation that would span over a year. Because the intruder was a stranger, the only identifying evidence was a dusty boot print on the door. Detective Langley worked with the crime lab to properly document the boot print, and despite weeks of working the case, the trail of the suspect grew cold. Detective Langley continued to follow up on several aspects of the case when a break came from a person with information on the homicide. Detective Langley used this information and undercover operations to positively identify and arrest the suspect. A search warrant led Detective Langley to a pair of work boots located in the suspect's car, which were later matched to the boot print left at the homicide scene. The suspect ultimately received a sentence of 63 years in prison for the murder. Detective Langley, the successful conclusion of this case and justice for the victim's family would not have been possible without your leadership, tenacity, and dedication. It is therefore a privilege to award you with the Lakewood Police Department's Chief's Commendation. Thank you.
Our next recipient can't be here today because she's doing what every police officer loves to do, testifying in court. <laughs> but this award goes to Detective Kim Cheslick. On October 12th, 2020, Lakewood police agents responded to West 4th Avenue and Benton Street on a reported carjacking. As two elderly sisters left home, a gunman wearing a face mask pulled the 78 and 89 year old women from the vehicle, threw them to the ground and hijacked their car. The suspect then cruelly ran over both victims as he fled the scene. Using surveillance footage, pictures of the suspect driving the stolen car were circulated, but he eluded arrest. Detective Kim Cheslick was assigned the case and immediately began reviewing the surveillance footage and reported sightings. She was able to narrow the search area to South Sheridan Boulevard, north of Highway 285. She located a possible vehicle match as she cruised the area and obtained current photos and plates to update the lookout alert. Agents found the car and initiated contact, but the suspect fled to neighboring jurisdictions. A pursuit ensued, and with a unified effort, Lakewood and Englewood officers took the suspect and passenger into custody. After extensive interviews, Detective Cheslick obtained search warrants for the vehicle, social media accounts, and cell phone data. Evidence from the warrants enabled her to track the man's movements throughout the metropolitan area, and biological evidence confirmed the suspect was the assailant. She has been fully committed with her effort to provide justice for the victims, one of whom has since died from her injuries. The tenacity with which Detective Cheslick has worked this case is commendable and has resulted in the suspect being found guilty on all 14 counts. Detective Kim Cheslick, in recognition of your professionalism, excellence in service and dedication, it is our privilege to award you with the Chief's Commendation. Can we have Agent Eddie Baggs and Agent Chad Lucero come up to the stage, please? The life-saving award, uh, life award is given to an employee whose efforts result in the saving of a life. On August 10th, 2021, Agents Eddie Baggs and Chad Lucero responded to a domestic violence situation in the 500 block of Van Gordon Street. Prior to their arrival, the agents learned that the man had hung himself from the neighbor's balcony, two stories below the original address. Receiving no answer at the locked first story apartment, agents Baggs and Lucero forced entry and quickly located the victim. Agent Baggs lifted the man's body, providing enough slack to allow agent Lucero to cut the strap around his neck. The two agents lowered him to the balcony floor and quickly assessed that the man was in critical condition. He was bluish in color and not breathing, yet he still had a faint, slow pulse. As they positioned the suicidal man to begin chest compressions, he started gasping for air and eventually began breathing on his own. Paramedics responded and were able to stabilize the victim to transport him to the nearest hospital. Agent Baggs, Agent Lucero, you were both faced with an emergent situation where you played an integral role in saving the life of a suicidal man. You performed in the highest standards of a Lakewood agent, and it is with great pleasure that we present you with the department's life-saving award. Thank you. Can we have Agent Michael Lee come up to the stage, please? During the evening hours of June 8, 2021, Agent Michael Lee responded to a call in the residential neighborhood of West Wesley Avenue, reference a medical emergency. Agent Lee arrived at the home prior to paramedics and found the victim unconscious and not breathing. He took immediate action and began performing resuscitation efforts. Agent Lee completed 30 chest compressions and then instructed the victim's wife to provide two rescue breaths. The two continued life-saving efforts for the next several minutes before paramedics arrived. 
Due to Agent Lee's decisive application of CPR, paramedics were then able to establish a pulse and stabilize the victim to a level where he could be transported to the nearest hospital. Agent Lee, if not for your immediate assessment of this life and death situation, along with your instruction of the victim's wife, the man would not have survived. You performed in the highest standard of a Lakewood agent, and it is with great pleasure that we present you with the department's life-saving award. Thank you. Can we have agents Matthew Christensen, Chad Lucero, Louis Struby, and Sergeant Devin Myers to the stage, please? On the afternoon on January 10th, 2021, agents Matthew Christensen, Chad Lucero, Louis Struby, and Devin Myers responded to a business in the Colorado Mills Mall on a report of an unconscious man. Upon their arrival, the responding agents found a man who was unresponsive with a weak pulse and only occasionally showing signs of labored agonal breathing. The team immediately began life-saving measures to include Narcan, chest compressions, and application of a defibrillator until paramedics arrived. When paramedics were preparing to transport the victim to the hospital, he regained consciousness and normal color. Out of concern for the victim's well-being, agents followed the man to the hospital. The immediate resuscitative eff efforts by each of you saved the life of this victim. You took control of a life and death situation with an exemplary response. Therefore, it is our privilege to present you with the Lakewood Police Department Life Saving Award. Thank you. Okay, this is gonna take a while because we got a lot of people here to recognize on this one. Can I please have Detectives Brian Fike, Sergeant Clay Fuller, John Holloway, Jeff Larson, Timmy Marquez, Brian Paisley, Sarah Pallett, Danny Simpson, Greg Strandberg, Sergeant Tom Grady, Crime Analyst Kerry Nordland, and Investigative Technician Alice Riker. Come down, please. On the afternoon of December 8, 2020, a woman was found in the parking lot of the Safeway grocery store located at 9160 West Colfax Avenue, suffering from a gunshot wound. Within the hour, the woman would die from that wound. Witnesses at the scene reported a red SUV involved in the incident. Surveillance footage showed the vehicle and two suspects, a driver and a shooter, who fled separately on foot. It appeared to be a planned robbery that led to the woman's death. Through precise and collaborative surveillance, the driver of the suspect vehicle was quickly located and his vehicle was taken into custody. Using information gathered by multiple Lakewood police employees, detectives were able to identify the shooter. When an arrest warrant for the main suspect was obtained, it was discovered that he had fled to Texas. Detectives coordinated with Texas authorities regarding the whereabouts of the vehicle and the nature of the crime. The vehicle was located, pursued, and stopped with spike strips. The suspect fled on foot, and after a four-hour manhunt, he was taken into custody without further incident. This was a complex case that required the collaborative efforts, initiative, and dedication of each of you in order to track down two suspected murderers and bring them to justice. It is, therefore, our privilege to award you with Lakewood Police Department's Chief Commendation. Thank you. And can we have agents Garrett Boyd, Rob Detlefs, 
Tim Hazel and Matthew Lukinich to the stage, please. Shortly after 6 p.m. on April 25th, 2021, agents Matthew Lukinich, Timothy Hazel, Rob Detlefs, and Garrett Boyd were dispatched to the 1800 block of South Union Boulevard. First on scene, Agent Lukinich witnessed a teenage boy repeatedly stabbing a woman lying on the street. When confronted by Agent Lukinich, the young man complied with his order to drop the knife but continued to stand over his dying mother. Agent Lukinich used those few seconds to quickly and decisively restrain the teenager and lead him away from the woman. Agent Hazel had arrived and was sprinting towards Lukinich, both agents acting instinctively to try to save a life. They used torn strips from the victim's shirt, attempting to slow the bleeding from more than 30 life-threatening wounds. Seconds later, Agent Boyd joined them with a combat medical kit, utilizing the specialized equipment and life-saving techniques. At the same time, Agent Detlefs ran to take custody of the troubled teenage boy who was sitting on the ground nearby. As Agent Detlefs escorted the juvenile away from the scene, the trio continued life-saving efforts until paramedics arrived and transported the woman to the nearest hospital. The victim underwent hours of surgery and ICU trauma care, but ultimately she succumbed to her injuries in the weeks to follow. The immediate action taken by these agents was impressive. They reacted without hesitation, throwing themselves into a chaotic and gruesome scene, displaying bravery and proficiency. In consideration of their actions, they are awarded the Chief's commendation for facing extreme challenges, exhibiting constraint and expertise, while demonstrating the highest standards of a Lakewood agent. Thank you. The Distinguished Service Medal is awarded to an employee who demonstrates bravery, courage, and self-sacrifice for others where significant risk is involved. May I please have Agent Matt Shea, Sergeant Alan Alden, Agent Zach Cook, Agent Michael Ehrlich, Agent Jesse Newhard, and Agent Samson Yang. Please come to the stage. On April 1st, 2021, agents responded to the 10,000 block of West Jewel Avenue, reference a call of a felony menacing with a gun. Upon arrival, Agent Jesse Newhart contacted the victim who advised that he had been confronted by his neighbor about a broken window. An argument had escalated and the neighbor had threatened him with a handgun tucked in his waistband. The victim stated he had no history with the man and did not know him. As agents approached the suspect's apartment, he was heard yelling threats about shooting or killing the neighbor. Agents Cook and Yang attempted contact at the front door while Sergeant Alden took a position outside near the balcony. The suspect opened the door slightly. The agents tried to encourage him onto the landing to talk. The man's behavior escalated quickly and he threatened to shoot the agents if they entered without a search warrant. Sergeant Alden witnessed the suspect step back, grab a nearby gun and approach the apartment door. He gave the order to drop the gun and watched as the suspect put the handgun down but retrieve a weapon that appeared to be a sawed-off shotgun. Agents backed away from the apartment to the cover of safety. Over the course of several hours, SWAT was initiated, residents were moved to safety, while Agent Michael Ehrlich negotiated with the suspect by phone. He continued to threaten agents. The suspect fired random shots from the balcony toward the stairwell, using multiple weapons and repeating the pattern several times. He refused to alter his erratic behavior. Agents were faced with a rapidly deteriorating, untenable situation, which threatened the lives of citizens and fellow agents alike. When the subject leveled a sawed-off shotgun at the nearest responder, agents were forced to fatally shoot the suspect. Sergeant Alden, Agents Cook, Ehrlich, Newhart, and Yang, each of you maintained your composure and continued to perform your duties in the highest standards of a Lakewood agent. Agent Shea, you demonstrated dedication and courage to ultimately end the conflict. Therefore, it is my privilege to present you respectively with the Chief's Commendation and the Medal of Distinguished Service for your actions during this highly volatile confrontation.
Can I please have agents Chris Alfano, Angelo Capolungo, Jeff Hagerman, Daniel Millard, David Place, Danny Preen, and Jana Schimmels come to the stage. Around noon on January 12th, 2021, Agent David Place responded to Prestige Imports on West Colfax Avenue on a report of a man in the car lot lifting door handles and trying to enter cars. The subject was last seen walking towards the Trails Inn Motel. Agent Angelo Capolungo joined Agent Place and together they walked to the motel parking lot in search of the suspect. Agents saw a man that fit the suspect's description, but they lost sight of him. They also located a vehicle associated to the subject. At 12.42 p.m., dispatch received a robbery in progress call at the Safeway store across from the motel. Agents Place, Capolungo, and Preen responded. With the high priority call, agents Jeffrey Hagerman, Chris Alfano, Dan Millard, and Jana Schimmels also responded to the store. The robbery call was quickly identified as a hoax. Agents suspected that it had been a diversionary tactic by the would-be car thief and returned their attention to the motel. The suspect was seen running into a nearby business. When agents attempted to contact him, the suspect chose to run north onto Glen D Drive. He ignored numerous commands to stop and agents gave chase. During the foot pursuit, several agents detected the suspect was likely carrying a gun and voiced a warning to watch his hands. Agents followed the fleeing suspect into the driveway of a private residence where he stopped in front of a tall privacy fence. Agents talked to the suspect attempting to de-escalate the threatening situation. Agent Alfano started to walk toward the man when the subject pulled a handgun from his waistband and pointed it toward himself, then toward specific agents in a chaotic manner. Despite multiple orders to drop the gun, the subject refused, raised the weapon, and fired, forcing the agents to return fire. Each of you demonstrated courage and self-sacrifice while facing a distraught man who posed a significant risk of serious bodily injury or possible loss of life. Therefore, it is our privilege to recognize that bravery by presenting you with the Medal of Distinguished Service. Will Sergeant Jim Jones please come to the stage? On April 20th, 2021, at 3.29 a.m., Lakewood Police agents responded to the 5300 block of West Fifth Avenue on reports of shots fired in the area. A witness stated he had heard a gunshot and looked outside to see a man screaming on the ground near the driver's side door of a vehicle. Also reported was a man running from the scene on foot southbound on Benton Street. The suspect on the subject on the ground was assisted into the vehicle and left the area. Later it was learned that the subject had been shot and driven to Denver Health Medical Center. Agents who were able to track the man who had fled on foot to the area of West Third Place and Depew Street. There they found him armed with a handgun, confrontational, and refusing to drop the weapon when contacted by patrol agents. Sergeant Jones was one of the patrol supervisors on scene and he worked to negotiate with the hostile man for nearly an hour. The armed man was pacing back and forth in the entryway between two garden level apartment homes and a fourplex unit. Residents were in their homes at the time and he tried to open one of the doors to enter an apartment. The man was ordered repeatedly to drop the handgun but he refused to comply. The suspect then raised his weapon, aiming directly toward agents, forcing them to return fire to end the dangerous confrontation. Life-saving measures were immediately taken by patrol agents, but the suspect died at the scene from his injuries. Sergeant Jones, your decisive actions that morning demonstrate courage and self-sacrifice. Despite every effort to end a violent confrontation peacefully, and even though the situation involved significant risk or injury or death to you and your colleagues, you acted in the protection of innocent citizens being further endangered. It is my honor to recognize your bravery and leadership by presenting you with this Distinguished Service Award.
Will Agent Josh Guerra please come to the stage? On February 5th, 2021, Lakewood agents were dispatched to a residence in the 1400 block of Harlan Street on a report of a man throwing items and saying he was going to kill someone. Agent Josh Guerra was among those who responded and immediately noticed an orange glow from the home's windows. They could see a small fire on the living room floor with a man standing next to it, stoking it with the household items. Agents approached the front door and were able to detain the man seeing fueling the fire. Agent Guerra was alarmed at how quickly the fire was growing and spreading up the walls, filling the home with thick black smoke. Without hesitation, he entered the residence and searched for anyone still inside. He located three individuals in the back bedroom who were unaware of the fire and would not have known to evacuate. Agent Guerra physically assisted all three occupants out of the residence before they were severely injured or likely killed. Within minutes, the structure was fully engulfed in flames. Once the residents were safe, responding paramedics were able to effectively treat Agent Guerra for sustained smoke inhalation. Agent Guerra, you demonstrated bravery and fearlessness when you entered a burning building, rescuing three people from an active fire. Your actions involved risk of serious injury or death to you, as well as the occupants. I am honored to recognize that bravery by presenting you with the Lakewood Police Department Distinguished Service Award. Thank you. Will Agents Eddie Baggs and Chris Ho, Sergeant Chris Ho, Commander Devin Moore, Sergeant DJ Braley, and Agent Paul Chiravella please come to the stage. After 7 p.m. on September 20th, 2019, a couple, a couple arrived in the underground parking structure of 470 South Allison Parkway to attend a cultural center performance. The couple had been quarreling and the argument escalated. The husband retrieved a handgun from inside the car and threatened suicide as he walked across Allison Parkway. The wife continued the argument and followed her husband to a concrete utility area near the police garage entrance. The couple was observed arguing and physically struggling with a gun by off-duty agent Paul Chiravella as he left the building. From the parking structure, Chiravella notified Jeffcom 911, relaying pertinent information. Sergeant Braley was walking into the building when he also observed the escalating conflict and he immediately alert alerted RTD personnel and passengers, moving them to safety. Braley then moved closer to the couple and attempted to persuade the woman to remove herself from the situation. All efforts to de-escalate the conflict were ignored and the woman continued to argue and physically struggle with her husband, holding his arms and trying to take the gun. Sergeant Chris Ho, Agents Eddie Baggs, and Commander Devin Moore responded, positioning themselves near the parked property van within the view of the couple. The subject continued to point the gun either toward himself or his wife or at his side despite clear verbal commands by agents to put the weapon down. As the man lifted the weapon toward his wife, then toward the agents, they were forced to shoot. Sergeant Braley physically moved the woman to safety. Agents Bag and Sergeant Ho tended to the man's wounds until paramedics arrived and transported him to the hospital. In a matter of moments, you were forced to make life and death decisions in the protection of innocent bystanders and the lives of fellow agents. Sergeant Chris Ho and Agent Eddie Baggs, you are being presented with the Medal of Distinguished Service, recognizing your bravery and selflessness to place yourselves at significant risk of injury or death to confront an armed gunman. Commander Devin Moore, Sergeant DJ Braley, and Agent Paul Chiravella, you maintained your composure when confronted with a highly volatile situation and continued to perform in accordance with the highest standards of Lakewood sworn personnel. Please accept this Chief's commendation. The citizen citation for distinguished service is awarded to a private citizen for an act which involves significant risk to the life of a citizen or involves the saving of a life. The citizen commendation is awarded to a private citizen for significant assistance rendered to the police department in achieving its mission or for notable efforts which results in the saving of a life. The Medal of Valor is awarded to an employee 
for a conspicuous act of heroism, which may involve extreme risk of life and a high degree of courage. Can I please have Commander Creighton Bates, Agents Byron Allen, Patrick Dunlavy, John Hinterreiter, Nathan Jornod, Chris Lovell, Councilman Charlie Abel, and Laura and Shelby Abrams join us on stage, please. Mid-morning on Friday, September 18th, 2020, Lakewood police agents were dispatched to the parking lot of the Walmart on South Wadsworth regarding a shooting. The victim was deceased. Trying to escape arrest, the shooter fled on foot to a nearby business intent on stealing a vehicle where he threatened employees at the business but was unsuccessful in his attempt. Fearing police were closing in, the gunman ran into the residential neighborhood where he came to a house where a woman, Laura Abrams, was home with her four-year-old daughter, Shelby. Miss Abrams had allowed Shelby to play outside in the fenced yard. Hearing noises at her back door, Laura became concerned for her daughter's safety and confronted a man in the backyard, demanding to know the whereabouts of her daughter. The man told her that he had just murdered two people and then said that her daughter was in the front yard. Miss Abrams saw that the suspect was still holding a gun as she moved toward the front yard. There, she could see her daughter safe and accompanied by her next door neighbor, Charlie Abel, who had heard a commotion and come to help. As Miss Abrams tried to escape to the front yard, the suspect grabbed hold of her and lifted her over the fence. It was at this point that Commander Bates, then a sergeant, pulled in front of the residence to see the gunman with the homeowner in his grasp. Fearing for her safety, Commander Bates exited his vehicle to confront the armed defender when multiple shots rang out in his direction. He felt something hit his face and heard a round strike the open driver's door of the marked patrol unit. He stood his ground and returned fire. The Abrams and Mr. Abley, excuse me, Mr. Abel immediately ran to his home where they sheltered in place. Councilman Abel armed himself for protection against the assailant should he try to enter his home. The suspect turned and ran further into the backyard as Agent Byron Allen arrived on scene. Bates and Allen began to pursue the suspect on foot, jumping a fence before recognizing that the suspect had positioned himself behind a large tree. Commander Bates immediately sought cover, as did Agent Allen nearby. Agents Chris Lovell, John Hinterreiter, and Nathan Jornod arrived and joined Commander Bates at his position. Responding Agent Patrick Dunlavey joined Agent Allen. Sergeant Louis Tomasetti took a position behind a fence on the opposite side of the yard with a wider view of the gunman. Commander Bates gave numerous commands to the suspect to drop his gun, come forward, and end the confrontation. The suspect failed to comply with any of these orders and continued to fire rounds at the agents. As appeals and negotiations failed, the confrontation escalated with threats and challenges by the suspect. Police personnel were forced to control further deadly actions by the suspect, leading to the resolution of the impasse without additional loss of life or harm to innocent citizens. Councilman Abel, you willingly stepped into a highly volatile situation to provide refuge and protection for your neighbor and her daughter. Your actions involved significant risk to you, yet you did not hesitate in your decision to assist. It is my honor to present you with the Citizen Citation for Distinguished Service. Ms. Laura Abrams and Shelby, you were the victim of a deadly crime spree by a desperate and unpredictable gunman. I am pleased to pre present you with the Lakewood Police Department's Citizen Commendation. Sergeant Tomasetti, from your vantage point, you were able to follow the gunman's movements and alert others despite significant risk to you personally. Therefore, I am pleased to present you with the Medal for Distinguished Service. To those in the gunman's direct line of fire, you displayed great valor and the highest degree of courage that day to stop this deadly offender. It is my honor to present you with the Lakewood Police Department's Medal of Valor. Thank you.
Let's uh, give her another round of applause for all our award recipients. And I'd really like to let's give another round for Charlie Abel and Laura and, Sh and Shelby. What a, what a day you had, uh, heroic actions by all of you. So you are just, we, you should be really proud of yourselves. Let's give them another round of applause. So today's recognitions are sort of just a, an example of uh, some of the selfless actions performed by the employees of the Lakewood Police Department and members of our community. And they perform these on a daily basis. And they accomplish something that we all should strive for, and that is to make the lives of others better. You know, so it, it is what an honor today. And I, and I just, again, I want to acknowledge all the men and women of the Lakewood Police Department who go out every single day whether there's a pandemic, whether there, no matter what, and we're out there serving our community with, with great pride and with our motto, integrity, intelligence, and initiative. And so it makes me proud to be part of this organization and serve with, with these great men and women who uh, make these sacrifices every day. So let's give them a round of applause again. So that concludes our ceremony, and I want to thank you all for being here to celebrate with us. And uh, there's, you can come up on the stage afterwards if you'd like to take some more pictures. Uh, but thank you all for coming, and uh, please be safe out there. <laughs>